everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to another Plan With Polish Land video. Today I have my March planner update to share with you and as I always say at the beginning of these videos, I do a planner update at the end of every month and what I do is I share how I used my planner for that entire month. I tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I would like to change going forward. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I wanted to quickly mention is that I am still using my quote unquote Valentine's Day cover. This is the Follow Your Heart metallic cover from Erin Condren, but I mean, it is Valentine's Day related. I like it no matter what. It's pink and rose gold and matches my planner coil perfectly, so I'm going to leave it on until I get sick of it. That's pretty much what I do with every color. I just keep it on until I am no longer in the mood to use that one. But let's go ahead and flip right to March. I didn't end up using my notes page at all this month. Our quote page says, do more of what makes you happy. And as you can see, we have a light orange color for the month's theme. Flipping over to my monthly spread, I used it just as I always do to track blog posts and videos. I did a themed month over on my blog. It was Manicure March, and I did a nail polish review every single day of the month. So that's why you can see I have a lot more stickers in here than usual. I use the Erin Condren event stickers to track my blog posts and videos. The videos are in the blue stickers. The blog posts are in the green. And I would love it if you guys would check out my blog if you haven't yet, or maybe you haven't in a while. The link is always below. I work really, really hard on it, just as I do with these videos. I'm very passionate about blogging and sharing with you guys, so I would love it if you would hop on over there as well. All of the decorative stickers that you see on my monthly spread, such as these little strips, the quote box, the asterisks, that comes from the Erin Condren monthly sticker book. I have it right over here just to show you what that looks like. And I really like this sticker book. It helps a lot with my monthly spreads and then I use the other stickers throughout the month as well. I love using the goals section over here on the side as a shopping list. It helps me keep track of the things that I need to buy and that way I spend less money because I'm focusing in on the items I really need. The little banner is from Oh Hello Stationery Co. and the little dots are from Hello Ashley Ann. And now let's go ahead and flip into my weekly spreads. I actually have Plan With Me videos for three out of the four weekly spreads and I will always link them with an I card as soon as I flip to the spread. So this is my spring floral plan with me and I used the pastel floral weekly kit from Oh Hello Stationery Co. This is definitely one of my all time favorite planner spreads. I absolutely love the pastel colors and the designs and I think this is a great mix of functional and decorative because I do have a lot of decorative stuff going on here with the flowers and the full boxes, but at the same time, I have a lot of full to-do lists as well, so it just worked out really, really well. My plan with me for this week is vlog style, so you can go ahead and check that out if you want more information on how I put this together. So the next week in my planner is my garden gnome week. I also have a vlog style plan with me up for this week. I used the Secret Lives of Gnomes sticker book from, I believe the brand is Celebrate It, but it is with the $1.49 sticker books at Michael's. And then I also paired that sticker book with the Chic Weekly Kit from Allie's Planner Hood. I think this week came together really well. The colors aren't my personal favorite, so I think that's why it's not a favorite spread of mine. And I think I did a great job with keeping up with my functional style planning. Now when I say functional, I recognize that I have a ton of decorative elements in my planner, but I have a full checklist down on almost every single day, and that really helps me to stay on track with everything that I need to get done, and it also motivates me. Another thing that I started doing this week was putting a half box right at the top here. It fits in perfectly in that little area and I use it to create a weekly goal. I have so many goals floating around in my head and I decided that every week I'm going to pick one and really focus on it for that week. And so far it's been working wonders for me. I've always completed my goals since I started writing it down and I highly recommend trying that out if you haven't done it yet. So now let's flip over into my St. Patrick's Day plan with me. For this spread, I stuck with a green and orange color scheme. I also started using some of my glitter half boxes from Pretty on Paper Co. And this is the first time I'm ever using the glittery style of stickers. And I fell in love with them, you guys. I think they will definitely be repurchased in the future. 
One last thing about this spread. I know that I kind of wasted these habit tracker stickers from Oh Hello Stationery Co. But like I've said in the past, even if I don't end up using a sticker that I put into my planner, I don't think it's a waste, especially when it comes to habit trackers, because even though I didn't end up waking up at 7 a.m. on the dot every day and I didn't get to comment on other blogs, it still reminded me that those were goals that I have and that I can work towards those goals even if I'm not yet accomplishing them. I hope that makes sense and I hope if you ever put a sticker in your planner and then you don't end up using it, don't feel too bad because that's life and that's going to happen. Moving into my final weekly spread for the month of March. This is the one spread that you haven't seen on my YouTube channel yet, but if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you've seen it for sure, and you can follow me there at, at Playing with Polish Land. The link is in the description box always for you guys. This is my Easter spread, and I used the Easter Outback sticker book from Doris, and I paired it with the Cotton Candy Aztec Weekly Kit from Allie's Plannerhood. I wasn't going to decorate for Easter just because I am not really into Easter, but I think it was so fun to use these stickers. They are really adorable and unique, especially this little koala on a pogo stick and this flamingo with bunny ears. I also used a lot of stickers from Caitlin & Co. Plans, so all of my headers and half boxes and life bars are from her shop. I used a lot of Oh Hello stickers as I always do, so my weekend banner, my book stacks, my banner flags, and my icons, a lot of those are from Oh Hello Stationery Co. I used a couple stickers from Hello Ashley Ann. This one is from the Erin Condren Monthly Sticker Book. And I even got to try out some new stickers from the shop Love Lindsay Paper Co. I will have a full haul and review for you guys up very, very soon on this channel. As always, if you've discovered a new sticker shop or if there's a sticker shop that you really think I will enjoy, please let me know. I'd love to check it out or give it a try. In terms of washi this week, I used my Easter egg washi that I got at AC Moore. It is the Nicole brand. And this little strip right here, as well as this floral washi tape in the background, is from the Happy Planner brand. I was so excited because my local Michaels is finally carrying stuff from the Happy Planner. And I love the washi. It is amazing quality and definitely a good price, especially if you use a coupon. So that is it for my March Planner update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Definitely let me know what spreads you did in the month of March. What Easter sticker book did you use if you did an Easter spread? I would love to know. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so my videos pop up in your subscription box. I post new planner related videos every Tuesday and Saturday and sometimes on bonus days as well. And I would love to have you here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!